Hi, I'm Sarah from Your Coming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Thanks, Hi, Sarah. Sarah. Maybe we can kick off with a brief introduction to Three Body Problem. For sure. Who don't know anything about the show, what can they expect when they watch it? Oh, uh, I think they should expect the unexpected, for one. It's not a cl uh, typical sci-fi. It's, mm -hmm. it's like a, a whole smorgasbord of different genres smashed into one. It is mind-bending and uh, philosophical, and there is a detective story happening threaded through this incredible um, story of the past set in the Cultural Revolution in China. There is uh, modern day uh, scientists who are just like flawed and complex human characters mm -hmm. to take you through this wild ride. Um, so it's something for everyone, we hope. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Spot on. Yeah. <laughs> and of course the, the showrunners, I guess, you know, were able to prove they could take such a complex um, mm. source material mm. and, and turn it into something incredibly accessible and compelling with Game mm. of Thrones. And mm. they seem to have done it again here, but with the sci-fi genre. Yeah. Um, so when you first heard about the project, what was your first thought? Had you already read the books? Did you return to the books? I, I, I read the books because it was too famous not to read it. And um, I thought I wasn't going to get the role because it was too big. Right? Netflix. And I, I auditioned via Zoom. So I thought it would just be a precious uh, audition experience mm. was my first thought on this project. But then they took me. I was like, okay, now I'm insecure because I have to worry about... The next thing I worry about is getting fired. Because <laughs> it's still too big. I'm so green. I'm newbie. So that was all I was thinking about at the first place before I know them. But I already know them from Game of Thrones, but only from the Game of Thrones. And yeah, it's my top three like series. Um, and maybe we could dive in a bit to your um, respective characters. Um, I mean, you're obviously in the, in the present day, the Oxford Five. Um, yeah. Did you have to go and do a lot of research, the science side? What was it like working with your co-stars? Yeah. How did you see this character? A little bit. Um, I play Jin Chang, a genius physicist of her generation, mm -hmm. according to other characters. <laughs> um, and she is someone who is extremely driven to the point of obsession. Once she finds something that she wants to solve, she will, mm. won't give up on it. Uh, but she's also extremely empathetic. And I think despite her massive intellect, she actually is very instinctual in how she moves through the world. Um, she just does what she wants and loves her friends and stands by them until she needs to do this thing. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, she's flawed just like everybody else. Uh, in terms of research, we were very lucky. We had a consultant, Matt Kenzie, on board, who was a real physicist and helping us every step of the way. Um, obviously, the guys, David, Dan, and Alex, are geniuses as well, so they, they were there to help us out on set every day. You read a book about string theory, you listen to podcasts, you do what you can to get like a foundational something. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you remember that these scientists are just people. Um, and the, the best research for me was one day Giovanna Depo and I went to Oxford University. We met two of Matt's students and we spent the whole day at Oxford just like hanging out with them, going onto campus, seeing where they like go to rowing clubs, seeing where they go for a drink afterwards and That's realizing something. that they're just dudes, you know, they're just people. Um, so I think that's at the core of it. You do your actors work first mm -hmm. and then you support it with all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And, and for your character, I mean, it's really kind of the, the thread that, you know, runs through the whole series. Right. And there's such emotional complexity there, um, and, but so much resilience as well. It mm. must have been a fascinating role to take on. Yes, I was driven by her character when I was reading the book at the first place because she is so powerful. Because the events that she's been through in her life were threatening her life, like... Literally, yes, because, truly. right? Yeah. It's sad that um, she has to, she has to uh, go through that kind of stuff. But it's very strong because it's not killing her. The society can't kill her. Director Derek Derek Zank told me, "See, I want to see your power in this character. Show me your power." I'm like, okay, okay. So every day I've been focused on oh, channeling my power. 